in this leap year cycle in order to harvest your energy. Hey y'all, it's Neo, and today I'm going to be talking about the four-year theory. In order to understand this theory, you must first understand a couple of things. One represents the creation energy. Two represents the operation or the communion energy. It is basically the trial and tribulation period. Three represents destruction or the renewal cycle. This is where we are supposed to jump from here to here. Instead, we have to go through this what we call renewal and rebirth period, which stem from the change to the Gregorian calendar. Giving us this right here, creation, operation, destruction, and then our renewal cycle should not be a whole nother cycle by itself. This creates a box. This box keeps you trapped in this four year cycle. This is the cycle that we should be operating off of. A cycle that starts with the creation of an energy, the operation of an energy, and another creation of an energy based off of this energy right here, which leads you to a whole nother energy. You must also understand that a leap year is the, le the year that you are supposed to use to leap into your next timeline. Time is circular, not linear, and time is speeding up as advancements are made. Because time is not linear, it is circular, it should look like this. It should not go in straight lines. This is where we get the theory of past, present, and future being on a linear basis, and it's not. It's a continuation of a cycle because it's all one energy. So now, you understand that time does not exist. This is why it's easy for them to shift calendars and remove seconds. Did y'all hear that they're trying to remove seconds? Remove seconds from minutes in order to keep up with this. Like I said, as we advance, our time does as well. So you have to continue with that measurement. This is why they implemented this new calendar. Also, think about the fact that all of your major elections happen on a four-year cycle. At the same time that a lot of world events take place, think for example, in 2016, it felt like such an amazing year for everybody, but that was also a year that we had an election, which means that was a time period to draw and harness out a lot of energy. Think about in 2020. We all know what happened in 2020. I don't think I need to explain that. 2024 is another year like that. It's the year for you to jump and shift your timeline, but because you've been throw all of these distractions it doesn't make it easy for you to do so if i wanted to keep you trapped in a constant cycle i would not tell you that you are in a cycle i would just continue to feed you the same energy that you had at the beginning of your last cycle in order to make you keep repeating the same cycle